UWP Veterans Club is for all veterans attending UWP. Today in studio, I'm joined with its current secretary, Eli, and current active member, Ryan. They're going to be informing us about two big events heading our way starting right away in May. Starting on Thursday, May 5th, with the Armed Forces Day taking place all day long right outside the PSC following a concert that evening, as well as Sunday, May 8th, Platteville's Wounded Warrior Run taking place in Smith Park with even more entertainment to follow. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, Ryan, for joining me today. Ryan, why don't you just start off telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm a criminal justice student here in the Forensic Investigation Program, and uh, I'm local. I'm originally here from uh, Livingston, not too far away from here in Platteville. I was in the Marine Corps, and my last duty station would have been the great state of Missouri, Fort Leonard Wood, believe it or not, um, Motor T, and uh, not too interesting, very kind of bland compared to most of the vets on club are on campus here. And how long ago was that that you served? Uh, early 2000. Oh, okay, so it's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. Do you miss it? Do you, are you still active a little bit? Um, I do miss it. I do, um, but I got into other things when I was out and uh, never got back to the Marines. And now, Eli, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience? Sure. Um, I am originally from Platteville. Uh, I enlisted in 2001. Uh, I spent four years in the Army and got out in 2006 and came back here. And with a group of Afghanistan and Iraq veterans, we restarted the the Platteville Veterans Club uh, in the fall of 2006. Now there was a vet club previously. Correct. Um, in the 70s and 80s, uh, Platteville's actually had a veterans club more or less since World War II, and veterans started returning then. But in 1993, when the ROTC program left, uh, they dissolved the veterans club as there weren't a lot of service members at that time in the 90s. And then when uh, Iraq and Afghanistan started in 2003, uh, when most of us got back, we we reformed the club since we all had something in common and we were looking for something that we had all, I guess, were kind of missing. What does the vet club have to offer? It's more or less a support network mm -hmm. for uh, veterans and service members, for people that have been overseas and those people that have just served. Um, it's something, it's a group that everybody has something in common through their service and we've been able to use that to help each other through, you know, experiences that are fairly unique to veterans and service members. Do you guys also connect with other clubs on other campuses? We have tried. Um, unfortunately, there aren't a lot of veterans clubs throughout the states. Most mm -hmm. campuses have one, but they aren't very active. And we actually have been told from uh, the group in Madison that we have the most active and most successful club in the state. That's an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Now, I know when a lot of people think of vets clubs, they think of the camel house that Correct. Some of us remember seeing. Mm -hmm. So it's um, a little history behind that. For the last three years, the Veterans Club has been very active in homecoming. And uh, the first year we did it three years ago, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do to kind of set us apart. Mm -hmm. And our president at the time, Rob Quillen, uh, who is now an alumni, uh, said, basically, let's paint my house. And <laughs> without much more thought put into it, we went and got a bunch of paint and started painting the house and from there on it's been a tradition every year that we uh we paint a house so we've had uh, a woodland camo house that was the one over on southwest by campus uh our current president nick blank painted his house two years ago to be desert camo and then this past homecoming uh our social chair painted his de or, uh, snow camo so do you guys know what you're doing next year yet or is it still going to just be a random we have surprise? no idea well, we generally kind of don't think that far ahead <laughs> Is it like a, a week thing of? Yeah, it's a spur of the moment. That's how you got to live, though, sometimes. Yeah. Just randomly go paint a house camel. Come on, why not? You guys got some really great stuff coming up in May here. Mm -hmm. um, starting with May 5th, it's a Thursday, we have Armed Forces Day. Correct. Now, what's going to be going on? What can we expect? This year is the second year that we're doing Armed Forces Day. We did it last year. Um, and basically, it is... Uh, since Memorial Day does not fall during the school year, we decided to conduct something towards the end of the semester to promote awareness mm -hmm. amongst the student body that uh, there are service members on campus and kind of what we have been through in our experience. Um, 
what most people don't realize is Platteville actually has the highest number of veterans per capita of any UW school, um, which is kind of exciting. And yeah. we have, and that's why we have the club that we do. But last year we set up things like uh, we had a beanbag toss to simulate a grenade range. Uh, we had uh, the Army recruiters from Platteville and Dodgeville come down with some equipment. We had some Humvees and some trucks and an armored personnel carrier so people could kind of see what the vehicles look like. We had some of the guys that are currently in the National Guard and Reserve bring down their equipment so people could wear it and see what it's like to, to walk around and that kind of stuff. And then this year we're doing the same thing, but we're kind of expanding it. We're going to have a band. It's going to be a little bit more of a uh, celebratory right. uh, environment this year. Uh, we're still going to keep some of the, the events going where it, you can put on somebody's rucksack or you know, see what it's like to throw obviously not a real grenade, <laughs> um, but do that kind of thing to, to be able to relate to, to the service. Sometimes when you approach a vet, you don't know how to because you, you want to be sensitive to their service, but also be able to hear their story, relate to them. And sometimes by just seeing the equipment, being able to just do a simple thing as, you know, like you said, just like kind of a simulated grenade toss with a bean bag, stuff like that. That's stuff that really helps us all bring together and somewhat try to relate with the vets and at the same time, you know, thank them for their service that they provided to us. Mm -hmm. um, have you guys ever thought about bringing in one of those obstacle courses? Actually, um, we are in the process of finalizing the contract to have kind of an inflatable obstacle course come in. Mm -hmm. And we've actually also talked about uh, doing laser tag or paintball. So that may be in the works for next year. So we're trying to expand it to, to get to some really cool things. And one of the things we've talked about is hopefully for next year getting it planned where it'll either be laser tag or a paintball and it'll be kind of challenge the vet club to to see what you can do against guys that were trained to do this kind of stuff <laughs> uh so basically you guys just want to see us get our butt whooped yeah we think it'd be fun <laughs> <laughs> now thursday night you are going to have a band in the student center um cherry pie it's a classic rock band yes out of madison out of madison and what time is that going to be it's going to be at 7 p.m. It should be open seating. There will be plenty of room. So come and enjoy and have fun. It doesn't stop there. You guys are also continuing the awareness through the weekend. And on Sunday, uh, May 8th, you guys are going to do the Support the Wounded Warrior Project. Yeah, this is going to be the Platteville Wounded Warrior Run. And we're going to start off with a 5K. And so for all of you that uh, are scared of five, it's really only a three-mile roughly run walk <clears throat> and there's going to be a 15k for the guys who are the real motivator mm -hmm. i have even had someone tell me they're going to run it in their boots <laughs> so we'll see uh